Hello YouTube, Graphic Carnage here. Welcome to my very first video. And in this video I'll be showing you the new web browser I made not long ago. It took me about, I'd say, five days. One day with only graphics. I make all the graphics myself. Because I'm like, I like doing computer graphics. I made this background myself as well. So, yeah, I'll just show you my web browser. It's called Spark. My slogan is like, Ignite Your Web Experience. I find it fits pretty well. Um, so yeah, I'll show you around because there's a lot of functionalities in here. Now, first of all, I've added a calendar up here so you can uh, see the date and everything so you don't have to put your cursor over the time down here to, to be able to see the date. You'll have it directly up here. I think that was pretty useful. And there's one more thing I've added in here because it really annoys me when I open a web browser and I don't have um, websites already available. So what I did is I ended up making Sparks useful websites. Now, if you click here, you'll have a bunch of websites, which I found useful, or websites, the most popular websites. So here you can click on any of these, and you'll um, navigate directly to them. Let's say you want to go YouTube. Just click on YouTube, and you'll navigate directly to it. The browser is no longer supported, please. <laughs> yeah, well, it will be supported soon. Anyway, so yeah, everything, all of this works. Deezer is actually a really good um, music website. You can find all the music in here. Just search, and uh, you'll get like almost anything. I, th I think their database extends to to almost every single music in the world or every single song in the world. So it's a really good website. I'd recommend you take that. So yeah, I'll show you some other functionalities. Now here is a kind of bookmarks toolbar, which I created. Well, first of all, I didn't know how to make the normal uh, toolbar that like Firefox has. Plus, um, if I actually do release this, uh, I can like avoid copyright for their uh, bookmarks toolbar. <laughs> Plus, I think I'd um, you didn't actually need that many of these because I mean you didn't really need a bookmarks toolbar with my web browser because you have favorites down here. Like all your favorites go here, so I, I didn't think you needed you needed that, and I didn't know how to make it as well. <laughs> so yeah, so let's say you want Deezer.com to be your um your favorite site or something. You can just drag the favicon down here, and that will be your favorite site. Oh, Deezer.com doesn't have a favicon, so it it'll show the last favicon that I was on, which was YouTube. So yeah, you can just drag, drag and drop, and whatever's in here will end up here. And let's say, let's go back to Google. And so here I got Deezer.com, yes. And if I press this button here, it'll navigate directly to it. So that's uh, another kind of bookmarks toolbar I've added. Now up here, as you can see, I got new tab, close tab, new window, close window. Now I've, I added this here because I found it was really useful to have it like right there so you can do new tab bam new tab it'll go directly to my home page which I set to facebook.com uh, I didn't this isn't actually my home page I was just fiddling around with it and I forgot to change it back to Google so yeah it's Facebook for now um, so yeah I can close that tab make a new window it'll go to my home page close window and all that. Here you got home, stop, refresh, forward, back, all those options. And uh, now let's go to the menu strip up here and see what we got there. So in file, I have all this new window, close window, new tab, close tab, page setup, print preview, print, all these work. Exit is just to close this window. Edit, all of these work to a certain extent. Um, I'm having trouble with the undo and redo um, buttons here, but I'll fix that, hopefully, with some help, probably. And uh, yeah, so you got all that. View, you got um, show status bar, hide status bar. Now status bar is the bar you have down here. You can hide it, and it'll go away, so you have a, a bigger um, browser page you can look on pretty useful I think so but I like to have the status bar shown so I can see the progress 
when I load a new page. Um, now zoom, I haven't actually finished that, so these don't work yet. Hopefully I'll get this working. Since I don't know how to code, and this is like the first time I actually tried to code something, I had a lot of trouble with this, so that's probably why a lot of things don't work yet. But I'll get them working. Page properties, that works. Um, page source works as well. So yeah, uh, full screen works. I'll go full screen. And then in history you got home, back, forward, all that, which you have here. Home, back, forward. And you got show all history, which will show all history. And now here I went like to Deezer twice. See it shows here. Um, history also shows here if you want to find your history. Now what I did is on Firefox, normally I think you have 8 or 10, your most recent history. Here you have, I think I put it to 100. So if you go really far, you'll have a scroll bar, and you can scroll all the way down to your 100th um, most recent history, which I found pretty useful. So yeah, show all history, clear all history. This works as well. It clears your history. Now this doesn't work yet, but what's going to happen is when you click today, yesterday, this week, whatever, I'll have different... Um, boxes come up which will, which will show you um, your history from today, yesterday, this whole week or this whole month. I'll get that working soon enough. Hopefully. Now in the bookmarks you have bookmark this page. Now if you go to organize bookmarks this will come up. Now here I don't have any bookmarks, I haven't put any, but what happens is when you have a bookmark and you want to remove one I've put two text boxes so this text box you can choose the bookmark you want to remove so it'll show up here and you can just select it and do copy paste in here then do remove and basically this is to navigate from this page so like you'll see all your bookmarks in here if you click on it this window will close and you will navigate to the page in a new tab so that's for that's all for manage bookmarks here you get the useful bookmarks they're here as well so you don't really need that there. And you got your bookmarks, which will be whatever's in here. Now, if you go to tools, you got options. You can set your home page here, set to current page. I'll change it back to Google. Okay, and uh, yeah, downloads don't work yet. There's still some things I haven't put. Page info is basically the same as page um, properties, so I think I'll take that off. Clear recent history, that doesn't work yet. I'll have to make it, I think I'll make it the 10 last history. It'll clear the 10 last um, sites you went to. The options I just showed you. And in help, I'll get the Spark help, which will show functionalities. I haven't put that yet. Report a bug. Um, I'll make a special email account for that for Spark. If I release this, I don't know if I will release it. Maybe I will. I'll see depending on the comments you guys put down here. Okay. Um, check for updates. I'll, I'll make a website for Spark and you can check for updates there. If you click this, it'll navigate to it, I think. And I got about Spark. This is um, the icon or logo I made for Spark, the Spark web browser. Made it myself. Um, so that's what it's going to be. And yeah, you got created in April 2010, Carnage, that's me, copyright 2010, uh, it's, it's not actually copyright, but <laughs> yeah, so all that works, and uh, so let's say you want to add SparkNotes to your favorites, now you just have to click this button, and I'll add it to your favorites, there it is, so yeah, um, you got your favorites down here, navigate, here you got Google search, so you can type anything you want, it'll do Google search, there, did Google search for lol in a new tab, so you can keep whatever you have here. Let's close that tab. And um, I've made something new. I don't know if any other browser have this. I haven't actually checked. So basically, if you want to search a word, um, you're going to type the word here. Let's say I want to search Google. Well, so far I haven't made this work yet. I'll make it work soon. It's really complicated code, and since I don't know how to code, it's really hard for me. So that's why it's not up yet. But um, 
so far I've managed to make it say whether this word was in the page or not. See, look. Oh yes, the phrase was found in the page, because it's right here. So yeah, that works for now. So yeah, that's my web browser, guys. Please leave comments, subscribe if you like this browser. Anyways, um, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.